First leg, Richard to throw first. Game on. Could be a year-changing night for Richard North. Mark Webster in the commentary box. Rob Cross will go off as a heavy favourite, though, won't he, Mark? Yeah, of course, but... Easy one. Go back to that Euro Tour you mentioned where Richard North made the semi-finals last year. On that run, he defeated his opponent today, Rob Cross, in a last-leg decider. And he's been the master of them so far here in recent. So Rob Cross doesn't fall into the trap of going 5-2 to ahead of Richard North tonight. Hasn't done any of his opponents so far any good. Good tournament for Richard North, like we said. It's been a, a poor year. One last 32 appearance. And this is his first European Tour he's qualified and by far his best run of the year. Can he add to it? Well, Rob Cross comes into this averaging more than 101 for the tournament. So he's been very consistent. He breezed past John Henderson 6-1 and then annihilated Joe Cullen 6-0. So as one. things stand, Rob Cross could not only go and win his first Euro Tour title. He hasn't won on the Euro Tour yet. He made three finals. But he could do it with one of the most comprehensive campaigns we've seen if he carries on at this rate. 59. People are struggling to get a leg off him. Yeah, has been plain sailing for Rob so far. Amazing the form he's been in the last few years. He's not managed 85. to lift one of these titles, but who knows, tonight could be the night. Well, he has made three finals, but in every single one of them, he's run into Michael Van Gerwen. It's always going to be a slight problem, isn't it? Yes. Well, you only go and talk to Peter Wright about meeting Michael 80. Van Gerwen in finals and what that does for your chances of actually winning. Done it in a number of big TV tournaments, of course, Peter Wright. Could be talking about Peter Wright as a, a multiple major winner and one of the all-time greats of the game. But as it is, he's only got that one UK Open title Robbie to his name. 122. And we touched on it in commentary. He did have those that big opportunity to win the Premier League a few years ago, six match darts. And Michael Van Gerwen punished his errors and inevitably went on to win the title. 97. Oh. Richard, you require Richard North. 41. Take a leg off Rob Cross and go into the lead. One for tops. Didn't give it enough. 31. And couldn't find the double ten Probably either. 25. Their chances that may need to go for Northey if he's to pull off another surprise victory. That was a little bit close to the treble nine for comfort. He's on the first leg. Rob Back Cross. in the middle of double eight. And that Second leg, trademark Rob two, Cross three, and he stares first. down the double. Game on. And an early breaker throw. Ah, no panic for Northey. He's, he's got him where he wants him. Let him get to five legs and then, then he strikes. 137. <laughs> 140. Good response there from Rich. Yeah, slightly disappointed not to have closed out that first leg. And carved out the opportunity. Both of these guys started on the PDC Tour at the same time. And Richard North actually had a pretty good year, but obviously everybody who had a good debut year in 2017 was completely overshadowed by that man with voltage written across his back, who had the greatest debut year we've ever seen. 85. But just curiously... Rob Cross, in his debut year, he kept on taking on big-name players. And he kept on beating them. He's ticking 100. off his list, and he got to the end of the year, and there was only one person in the top 20 he hadn't beaten, and that was Phil the Power Taylor. Hadn't played him yet. And, of course, who does he meet in the world final? It's Phil Taylor, and he not only beats him, but he absolutely thrashes him with 107 100. average to win the world We're championship. So he ticked off every single name in the top 20. But one name that wasn't on his list was Richard North's. Took him a while to beat him. He lost his first two encounters to Northy. Since put that right, to be fair, smashed him up at the European Championship and beat him in Barnsley earlier this year. Yeah, but it's always been in the back of Richard's mind. He, he's defeated this man before. 125. Different sort of challenge Robbie tonight for Rich, but 36. he knows he can do it. Well, double 18. Anywhere in the 18th segment, the single, the treble, or the double. Rob Cross, when he's playing well, it goes first dart. 
just need a range he's on the second leg wrong cross Burling Richard to Richard North on that debut year qualified for the Grand Prix I had the misfortune of losing to him in the first round which he still reminds me about now almost two years later bet that's fun when he brings that up I was only a standby player and I sometimes wish I hadn't got in <laughs> <laughs> actually wish I hadn't got in <laughs> who needs five grand first round prize money when you're going to lose to Richard North that's and have an a headache for two years yeah I mean that's 60 would you pay five thousand pounds not to have Northy bring that up at every available opportunity over a two year spell or possibly for the rest of your life, Webby. I'll tell you what, it's a bargain. I'd probably pay a little bit more. <laughs> 54. Did win a game at the European Championship last year, having qualified. It was a really weird European campaign for Northy last year because he made the semi finals at the very first event and beat Rob Cross. And. Went into the semi-finals. He was getting ready for it, and he was his usual chirpy, chatty self in the practice room. He'd been drawn against Van Gerwen. He's like, "Wow, what's the worst that could happen? I mean, the worst that could happen. He beats me six 0 Actually, Northy, we've just changed the format. He can beat you seven. -0. Seventy-eight. I think he did register one leg, though, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So. so it was it was still a, a defeat by six legs. But then all the way through the year, didn't win a game on the European tour for the rest of the year until the very final event when despite making a semi in the first 99. one he wasn't going to qualify for the European Championship made another semi-final and got into the Euros won a game there as well defeated Ian White who he's already beaten in this tournament yes and when he beat Ian White I believe he played Rob Cross the round after so some familiarities for Richard North yeah only got two legs against Rob Cross in a first to ten match he will get a look at this 1-6-4 Northy Richard, you require 164. It's a big ask for Rich, though. It's hasn't managed to really regroup after missing opportunities to take the first leg. 33. Rob, you require 60. 20 for tops. For another break of throw. He's on the third leg. Double ten oh, does the job, course. and he has managed to break Richard North Full twice in this game with 17 and 18 first. darters, and that game will on. be a frustration for Northy. But he's letting Rob Cross get to that magical five leg mark when suddenly Richard North clicks into gear. 134. Yeah, Rob Cross has now played 16 legs in this tournament and won 15 of them, so. <laughs> Yes, Richard North is the comeback king this weekend, but this is a massive ask. And I'm I'm 90% sure that Rob Cross, when he played Hendo, he lost the first leg and then won the next six. So I think at the minute, Rob Cross has won 15 consecutive legs. It's a phenomenal effort against the players of the calibre of John Henderson and Joe Cullen. Well, of course... I mean, he's threatening to do at the world match play. He won eight legs at the back end of the Gurney game and then went 9-0 up on Michael Smith in the final. Yes, yeah, he did. As a, a real good streak of legs from Rob Cross in the match play. And he's at it again here. And there's a maximum. And he's threatening to run away with this match, as did Peter Wright in the previous match against Adrian Lewis. 81. Rob, you require 53. Is it 17? For double 18. For an 11 dart leg. Switches over to the nines. And Game pins it for a 12 darter. Rob Cross. Richard to throw first. Rob Cross. It's pretty neat and tidy stuff. Yes. He survived a couple of darts in the opening leg. Yes, he's managed to break when Northy has had 18 darts on, on throw. But he is doing what is asked of him, Rob Cross. And Rich hasn't had a look in since that 41 combination in the first leg of the match. Well, there you go, 100 average. That's what he's throwing for the weekend. The first nine average. He's obliterating Northy. And 96. that 90 average for Richard North, he's only had two darts at double. So that's his 
almost all of it is scoring visits. And that does kind of inflate your average a little bit. Yeah, now we see the checkouts and Rob Cross, 50%. So a really accomplished performance. On Rob Cross, there's confirmation of the legs. 17, 40 and 18. But the 17 and the 18, his lesser legs have been the ones that have broke Richard's throw, so that'll be concerning for Northy. 92. Well, it's enough to get Richard, down to a check out. 90. But Northy's 180. He's gone early. He's gone before Rob's got to five. This wasn't in the plan. Now, do you dare go for the ball again? No, he'll look at the double ten. And there it is, the Rob play. Cross's winning Ooh. run is halted. To throw first. An incredible Game 16 off. consecutive legs this weekend in Risa. And it's Richard North to bring it to an end. 140. Oh, still got a lot of work to do. Two breaks of throw behind. That was a really good finish in the last leg though. 55. Still, he hasn't been having many darts at a double. Imposed himself well to get rid of the 90. He already finds himself turning a bit behind in this leg. 100. Well, Cross wasn't particularly happy with his own display against Joe Cullen, despite the fact he won it 6 0 with 101 average. So he feels there's room for improvement, and certainly we have seen some big averages from Rob Cross of late. Chucked in 114 in a Pro Tour event just a matter of days ago. But once again, Rob Cross found a way not to walk away with a title no, despite having been over 100 for the day. And you wonder whether this weekend might play out in a similar way. He's certainly playing well enough to win the title, but he also manufactures a roadblock for himself. He fear, 164. Yeah, DK lost, lost out in the last 16 and the first round in the midweek events in Barnsley. Losing out in the last 16 to Gerwin Price, who we'll see later on tonight 32. in the first semi-final against Glenn Durrant. Ninety-five. Robbie McGuire, 32. Well, to put Richard North 5-1 down. He's come back from 5-2 down three times this weekend. He's He'll have to do an even harder cross. job now Richard against a man averaging cross. over a ton. And he was a proven winner. World match play champion, former world champion. Seven PDC titles to his name, including a World Series event where he managed to comprehensively beat Michael Van Gerwen in the final on TV. He has had a, a personal battle with MVG over the last, well, ever since he started in PDC darts. He was denied in the European Championship final by Van Gerwen. He got his revenge at the Worlds in that incredible semi-final. But of late, Rob Cross seems 95. to be unable to play his top stuff against Michael Van Gerwen. He's not tested him in a lot of their contests. The Premier League final didn't get that close but there have been a lot of capitulations from Rob Cross but MVG isn't here the only man who's beaten him in a Euro Tour final will not stop him this weekend can anybody else Richard North at the moment does not look like he is that man oh, Rob Cross in that Premier League campaign 16. was beaten with relative ease by Michael in the two league matches and the final Rob will be kicking himself that he uh, didn't win the league in, in terms of the standings he went into the last week needing Positive result against James Wade, and he 34. left his lines to Michael Van Gerwen yet again. Topped the table and secured the 25 grand bonus. And went on to lift the title. Yeah, won 25 grand. 85. Well, sat in the hotel bar that night, not even throwing any darts. James Wade did him a favour. He thought it was hilarious. 97. James Wade by beating Rob Cross that night set up a semi-final with Rob Cross the week after where the results were reversed. Yeah, he saw off James Wade with ease. Reeling off leg after leg after leg against him just as he's 83. done. Against Obi Richard North 52. at the start of this game to put himself in a position to get the job done. And double 16 will complete this job. Rob Cross beat John Henderson 6-1, Joe Cullen 6-0. 
And double 16 will see off Richard North for the loss of just one leg. Where is he going? That's so far out. 36. Oh. Richard Uruguay. It's going to take a special 52. effort from Richard North to deny Rob Crossmore match starts. 5 2 has been his lucky omen, and there's a 5 and 2 in this combination, but not to be for Northy. Well, 1 5 2. 128. Too much. For Richard 16. North. And Rob Cross has been far too much for Richard North tonight. Game and that shot. completes and the that victory. Rob Cross. Cross has still only lost two legs this weekend. He has averaged over a ton for the third consecutive game and Richard North's campaign is finally brought to an end.